what we're going to do in this video is we're going to look at a slightly different type of notation, which is also used when talking about derivatives and differentiation. So far, what we've been using is the formula y equals ax to the power of n, and then saying that means that dy dx is equal to n times ax to the power of n minus 1. So this has been our general formula, and all it says is that when we have some multiple of x to some power, we want to multiply by that power and reduce the power by 1. And we've seen how that applies if a equals 1, so we have y equals x to the power of n. Then again, we multiply by the power and reduce the power by 1. If n equals 1, then we will multiply by the power and reduce the power by 1. But if we do that, the x will disappear and we'll just be left with a. And if n is equal to 0, then we'll just be taking the derivative of a. And when we multiply by the power and reduce the power by 1, we'll be left with 0. What we're going to do differently in this video is instead of using this notation with y and dy dx, instead we're going to start talking about it as f of x and f dash of x. So this means exactly the same thing. f of x is now the name of the function, and f dash of x is the derivative. Some people will call this f prime of x, but I prefer f dash of x. This works in exactly the same way. So if f of x is equal to some multiple of x to the power of n, then the derivative f dash of x is attained by multiplying by the power and reducing the power by 1. So you'll notice that the right hand side of these are exactly the same because these are just different ways of writing y and dy dx. But because y is a function, we sometimes write it as f of x and talk about the derivative as f dash of x. So these two things are exactly the same. We just sometimes use different types of notation, even though they mean the same thing. So everything we know about differentiation in this form still applies to this form. So let's go through some examples so you can see that in practice. So let's say we're asked to differentiate f of x is equal to x cubed. So we want to differentiate x cubed. That means the derivative, which we're now going to call f dash of x, is gotten by multiplying by the power. So that's 3. And then we reduce the power by 1 down to 2. So the derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. So this is exactly the same as if we said y equals x cubed and then dy dx would be equal to 3x squared. So these two things are exactly the same, they're just different types of notation. And we will be using both of these notations going forward. So sometimes we'll say f of x, and then when we talk about the derivative, we'll say f dash of x, and sometimes we'll talk about y, and when we talk about the derivative, we'll say dy dx. Okay, next, let's do more examples. So let's say f of x is equal to 4. Well, then the derivative, f dash of x, will be equal to 0, because 4 is a constant, and the derivative of any constant is equal to 0. Next, let's try f of x equals 9x. Well, then, what is the derivative, which is called f dash of x? Well, we now have some number times x to the power of 1. So when we differentiate, the x disappears, and we're just left with the number. So the derivative of 9x will be 9. And this is exactly the same as if we were saying y and dy dx. We're just instead saying f of x and f dash of x. It works exactly the same way. So all of the things that we've said in the previous videos still apply. Next, let's try differentiating f of x is equal to 1 minus 6x squared. So from the last video, we know that whenever we want to differentiate two things added together, we just want to differentiate them separately and then add our results together. So first we want to differentiate 1, well 1 is a constant, and the derivative of any constant is 0. Then we have our minus sign, and then we have 6x squared. So we want to multiply by the power, that's 2, and reduce the power by 1, down to 1. Now we can simplify this. 
So we have minus 2 times 6x. So we have minus 12x. So the derivative of 1 minus 6x squared is minus 12x. Next example, let's try f of x is equal to 0. Well then, what is the derivative of 0? Well, 0 is just a constant. That means there is no x here. So the derivative of any constant is 0, even 0 itself. So the derivative of 0 is 0. Next, let's try differentiating f of x is equal to 5x squared. Well, we can find the derivative of 5x squared by multiplying by the power, that's 2, and reducing the power by 1 down to 1. Now, 2 times 5x is going to be 10x. Next, let's try f of x equals 9. Well, 9 is just a constant, so the derivative f dash of x is going to be 0. Next, let's try f of x is equal to 8x squared plus 7x. Well, then this is a sum of two things. So we want to differentiate them each independently and then add our results together. So we have 8x squared. To differentiate that, we multiply by the power. That's 2. And reduce the power by 1 down to 1. Then we have our plus sign. Then we want to differentiate 7x. Well, that's a number in front of an x. So when we differentiate it, we'll just be left with the number 7. So that means the derivative is equal to 2 times 8, which is 16x plus 7. So you'll notice that this is working exactly the same way as when we had y and dy dx. We're just using different notation that means exactly the same thing. Let's do a few more examples to finish off the video. So let's try f of x is equal to 49 plus 7x to the power of 4 minus 8x. Well then f dash of x, the derivative, is going to be equal to each of these derivatives added together. So the derivative of 49 is going to be 0 because 49 is just a number, and the derivative of any number is going to be 0. Next, we want the derivative of 7x to the power of 4. Well, to get the derivative of anything, we want to multiply by the power. That's 4. And then reduce the power by 1 down to 3. Then we've got our minus sign. And next, we want to get the derivative of 8x. Well, that's a number times x to the power of 1. So when we differentiate it, we're just left with the number. Now we can simplify this because 4 times 7 is 28. So we have 28x cubed minus 8. And finally, let's try f of x is equal to 6x cubed plus 78. Well then the derivative of 6x cubed plus 78 can be found by differentiating each of these things independently. So first we want to differentiate 6x cubed. So we multiply by the power, that's 3, and reduce the power by 1 down to 2. We then want to add on the derivative of 78, but 78 is just a number and the derivative of any number is 0. So this will be equal to 3 times 6, which is 18x squared. So in this video, we just revised some of the previous concepts with some slightly new notation. And in the next video, we will be mixing these two different types of notation together and doing more examples.